Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Double D here, back here for another video for everyone. This has been a topic that has kind of been on my mind for a, a little bit. As we both know, the PS4 has been out for a while, and then you got the Xbox One that's been out. And the question I just want to ask is it good to have exclusive games for those individual systems, or should all the games that any developer makes should be multi platform? The reason why I bring up that question is you always going to have that button here. You always going to find out one person that's like, oh, the PS4 is better, or you're going to have this guy, oh, the Xbox One is better, or and then you got the PC fan which is like, man, screw all y'all, the PC is where it's at. So you're always going to have those those little debates. Me personally, I still own the PS3. I still got plenty of games I haven't played on that system, and I'm going to stick with that probably for another, I'm going to be honest with you, another year or two. I want to make sure before I buy a new console, everything's been ironed out. I'm not going to have any issues. Fortunately, I had an Xbox 360, and it only read red ring once. And the, the refurbished one that I got hasn't had any problems, so I was fortunate at that. But I, I play my PS3 more than my Xbox anyways, but that's not here or there. So, is it good to have exclusives or not? To me, I feel like, in a way, it is good, but at the same time, it it kind of hurts the market because it's, you feel like, oh, let's say you want to play this one game and it's only for Xbox One, but then you got another game that's you you own the Xbox One, but it's only for the PS4. So you kind of like juggling which one you want to play. For the sake of this, I'm going to use the PS3 and the Xbox 360 as my analogy. When I had my Xbox 360. I thoroughly enjoyed the Gears of War series. I thought it was pretty good. Judgment was okay, but the first three fantastic games. Then when I got my PlayStation 3, I hopped on the Uncharted series. One, two, and three. And that game's phenomenal as well. But the thing was, I didn't get my PlayStation 3 until much later. Like I said earlier in the video, I had a 360 at first. So I was fine with that. Now, now that I'm playing that more often, I feel like it feel it feels like you're constricted. Like, do you want to buy two systems just to play an exclusive title on that? Now, in in some ways, it kind of brings an edge to those particular systems. But at the same time, it's like, do you really want to spend money on this PS4, and then you want to spend some more money buying an Xbox One just to play those exclusives? So. This is this is a, a big debate because multi-platform is kind of where it's at. I mean, I, I would like to see some games get multi-platform, but then at the same time, you got copyrights, you have, you know, exclusive titles showing beyond this system and that system, so that's kind of where the battle goes back and forth. So, I feel like a lot of gamers probably do want multi-platforms. But then you also have those fanboys that feel like no it's showing be on Xbox or no it's showing be on PlayStation and you're always gonna kinda have those debates. So this is kinda like an ambiguous question and answer. So you you really don't know like which side to choose on. Me, if I could have it my way, I would like to make like a lot of exclusive titles or whatnot multi platform. Hey, I wanna generate as much buzz and get as much of the possible sales as possible. Instead of keeping on just one system, let's just make it for it all. So you guys comment down below and tell me what you think. Is it a good thing or a bad thing to have exclusives on just one system?